Wings! Wings! Sorcerer! That's me. I'm Sorcerer. That's, that is you. Hey, That's welcome Odin back, everybody. Yeah. So, uh, this is a level I made inspired by the idea of some old classic secrets. But, uh, so, the next well, level. We we should actually start by actually saying what the topic is. We're talking about secrets. I just kind of said that. Yeah, but, like, you said it weird. Whatever, man. So if you notice, aside from uh, the secret in the game that's going on, we've changed some stuff in the uh, the camera stuff. We got this fancy chroma key. We've got another microphone. So while he's talking, I'm just gonna run through the basic level before we really explore anything new. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's gun. let's see what this is all about. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh that guy. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'm hit him, and uh, I obviously see that they're. Oh, if I can get that. All right. Cool. Oh, psh, you already messed up, man. Uh, that's your version. Your version is stupid. Huh. Wow. Well, I was Screw gonna say you. when I played your level, the first thing I did is I saw that there there are little breakable blocks on the other side. So I was like, why would I let this loose sooner. Oh. Maybe I want to break those blocks and then I hang onto that shell and see what else I can break with it. And then I just ended up getting hurt because there was nothing to break with it. Well, I mean, that's your own fault for running into the shell. Whether there's a secret there or not, I don't know I if didn't, you know this. I didn't run you into get it. hurt. Well, the the turtles, or the Ko what are they called? The, the Koopas? Uh, they are called Koopas? Okay, I'm glad I'm not crazy. Uh, the pa these are paratroopers. <laughs> uh, instead of it. Koopa Troopas. But, uh, oh no, they, I'm not gonna make it. They pop out of the shell. Wow, already. You know what? They pop out of the shell though. That. What is if... that secret over there? Hmm. I wonder... <laughs> but they pop out of the shell when they're sitting long enough in your hands. Yeah. And they'll hurt you. I didn't realize that was the case in Mario 2. This wait, this is it's Mario like 3, every right? Mario does that. Yeah, I figured it was a Super Mario World thing, and then I sorely found out the hard way that the oh, earlier games enough. included it too. These guys. Was it Mario 3 that first introduced holding items like that? Or uh, I guess Mario, Mario 2 3. technically had holding objects, but that yeah, was also it did, the, the but weird that's one. That's also not like really a Mario, so. I mean, I would actually counter that by saying it is simply because even though the mechanics are different, right, and the, the world and the level design is totally different. There were so many creatures that came from Mario 2 that created a huge portion of the Mario-verse. But like, all of the creatures that come from Mario 2, ah, you son of a bitch. They were not, like, used in just about any other uh, Mario. Shy guys? Oh, uh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> um, but those aren't Birdo? actually used in, those aren't actually used in Mario levels. They're used in Yoshi levels. I guess I'm that's here. kind of true. From that point, I mean, yeah, I guess they're not really used in like. Wow, that is weird. Yeah, see, a lot of those monsters aren't used in like. Plus, it actually Mario Two wasn't actually a Mario game. Uh, I mean, I mean that literally. It actually is uh, a, a game where you played some like um, some uh, racist stereotypical Arab guy mm -hmm. going through the desert, and then they decided that they'd sell it better too. Americans if they made it an Italian uh, or a, a similar character that was already uh, used. I should probably make this jump already. This I found this part particularly challenging just because the pacing on the hammer is... It's, it's so variable. And it's, it's hard to work around the jumps because normally you can get pretty close to them so that when they jump you just go under them, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, I got to the point where I was just like, screw it. I, I don't even care about being big anymore. I think the hard part is cheesy. What with me? I think the hard part is that uh, you can't see the hammers being thrown. You you get an estimate, like you get what? 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 <laughs> uh, Jesus. Oh, my level's really easy. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. It is. When well, okay, when you just don't press up, <laughs> you can't blame that on a level. Only the player. That's your fault. Mm-hmm. Oh sure. I actually have always kind of had a, a distaste for jumping across vines like that. It's never... I don't find it fun. It's usually, like, really, I don't know, controller intensive, you know? Like, you have to hold up and to the right and... Did you... You weren't a big Donkey Kong uh, Country fan, were you? I, no, I love Donkey Kong Country. I don't think Donkey Kong Country had a lot of that. They usually had like jumping in barrels that shot you across the level, and then There's you had to time those things. back and forth on vines. Oh yeah, man! Swinging. There was a, there was there were a whole series of levels where there would be vines like that, except for the vines would also move left and right. Yes, but the vines you didn't have to hold up to grab. 
you just grab them if you touched them. I think oh, that makes a huge a difference. At least I'm I'm like 90% sure that's the case. I guess I could be wrong. Can you kill them by throwing a P block at them or P switch? Uh, not this guy. No. Uh, not. Oh, there you go. Oh no. <laughs> or there you. Hey, Aha! there you go. Take it. <laughs> totally <laughs> intentional. I mean, I can could not... probably just ran to the. Oh yeah, yeah. You can bring it out there with you. Although I guess when I did that, I accident. I almost threw it off the cliff because it bounces off the wall, you know? Nice. And I was like, oh god, no. So that's that's wings, but that's like easy mode, right? So explain kind of the, the process for that. So uh, basically I wanted a level that people would play through and get a little bit of challenge out. And then like that last part with the hammer guys all at the bottom, that I think is way harder. Um, and only because of the previous section that we were talking about with the vines and the guy that you have to jump under. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is that every, uh, here we'll come back to it, every level or every, every secret in the game is there to actually, it, although the secret itself is harder to get through, once you get through it, it makes the next portion of the game just so much easier. Um, and so here, we'll go over the, the things now, right? So this is here to show you, oh, like you hit it and you start seeing that there's that, that uh, you know, that green uh, trooper right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gives you time to see the block on the ground. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent point. It, it kind of slows down the player enough for them to see that. So hit him. Uh, see the one coin up there? By the way, this is always fun. Usually he's supposed, that guy's supposed to just like, jump over it and miss it but it, it the usually gets them changed. on the back, back swing and no it depends on what's revealed at, at the time oh, on okay. the screen so the the goombas mess each other up um and that's just a lesson for you if you put a bunch of things in a row if the player's not moving forward at a constant rate you they may end They'll up they collide with each other exactly i, I even tried spacing them apart a little bit it still didn't really help too much did they do that in the old games no i didn't it was, think so it was perfect every time so, uh, see this this one coin here? That's the first thing, only players who get curious about it, so boom. And it also tells you, like, hey, maybe you should try jumping up here and, and kind of seeing what else is over here. I don't remember what I put here. Oh, yeah, mushroom. Now, that's the green mushroom, although, it, you know, they're actually useless as far as things go. It's in Useless. Case, it's in case somebody plays a 100 Mario challenge, they'll have an mm -hmm. extra life to go by. And then if they have, if they die a couple times, they can just keep spawning the secret to get the three lives they need. And, and worst case scenario, if you're playing it just like solo like we are, it basically works as like a super coin where you're like, oh man, this has arbitrary value, but it's makes me it's feel cool good to, to get. It's, yeah, yeah. It, it's, if they're, that's the thing is like, if there's like, five mushroom, green mushrooms on a stage. I don't care. But if yeah. there's one, I'm like, I gotta get that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I gotta get that. And that's because <laughs> the Mario player in me comes up. Yeah. So this section was, uh, was pretty challenging. Uh, it requires a little bit of jumping. Now, the reason the stage is called, or the, called wings is because a lot of things have wings. So that's that was what, I called what I kind of what I took away. Yeah. So this one is... Game designer these guys, good at making names. These guys are pretty unique in that they... Uh, Oh, wait. You didn't know that? No, I... Hmm. I, I took too long, so I can come back, though. No, well, I feel like when I played this level, I couldn't just sit on their oh. heads like that. I really? think I they, they slid out from under me, so I constantly had to jump. Oh, that's and that's what pretty... pissed me off about your level. I was like, I need to know what's up there. How do I get up there? Oh. How does he expect me to do it? I don't know what I did differently, though. Maybe I did a spin jump? I've never had a problem with that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't think I would have done a spin jump, though, because they're not the spiky guys. And I don't know if you can... I think you can do that on the spiky guys, right? Uh, Maybe not... Oh, you can't no, spin jump in. No, because you can't jump on Th them right That's either. right. You can't even spin jump in Those in guys are 3. the only ones that actually have that feature about them. Like, if you do regular Koopas, or, or even if you put something on top of them, or what are the cases, they don't do... These guys have a specific mechanic. When you jump on them, they fly upward. Yeah, I couldn't do that when oh, I tried strange. to. strange. Well, that, that makes me feel a little bit better about so this. Much. Although, I still have one issue with this zone. Um, I'm not going to make you go back down, I guess. But there is um, a coin trail going from, like, where the starting positions of each of those... Uh, what are they called? Beetles? 
I don't actually remember what those dudes are called. Well, I, by the way, you've got a coin in the in like their near starting position, which to me as a player told me that I should go. The secret is that way. So I actually went over there looking for an invisible block and was always disappointed. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna make that. No! All right. Were you, oh, you're trying to get back. Yeah, up I was there? just trying to get back to it, but uh, you know, whatever. The the the, the coin trail is there. But so. my point is basically that it's it's misleading when coins are used to reveal secrets in this level. Suddenly, the coins don't lead you to a secret. They lead you toward the the little beetle guys. I'm gonna be but... honest. I don't remember putting those there. So that's just, <laughs> I guess that was dumb of me. All right, so uh, we have the next part, right? Um, if you did, if you just didn't get to that secret and then you're, uh, that there was a mushroom up there, if you remember before, mm -hmm. you naturally want to jump on the guy so you can make this hurdle pretty easy. And uh, if you do, then you end up, you get the mushroom right there. Anyway, right. so you get to this point, let's say that I didn't find that other secret. I get up here and there are coins up there, actually. I, I got them when I went through the tunnel. Mm. But there are coins right, you know what, actually... Uh, uh, boom. Start over real quick. So there's a, a coin right here, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's not a coin in between, and there's a coin right there. That usually makes the player want to go, huh? And then I'll try to jump there, and that gives them just enough time to see those coins up there on the white. Mm -hmm. Now, anybody who's played Mario 3 knows that white, um, this is just for Mario 3 players, the, um, those white pillars are usually a sign that something's up. Really? Yeah, in Mario's, uh, Mario, I think the stage two, uh, How? one dash two, I think it was, if you stood on one of the blocks and pressed down for long enough, you would go behind the level. Oh! Yeah. So, now, do you, do you get the white pillar just from, like, shaking it a bunch of times until yeah, it, yeah, it you, cycles you the color? Yeah, you can change the colors. Huh. So, um, so you have this, right? You land on here. Uh, mm -hmm. If you hit, uh, I think it's the first one. It's just a coin, but it makes you wonder about the second one. And bam, a star. Oh, dang. All right, so we got our star, right? And so we're, like, wondering, like, oh, yeah, I could just want, run through this level. But then if you run, move over to the right, you'll see some uh, some Koopa Troopas here. And you're like, I'm going to hit it and, oh, hey, it worked. Ah, you, you where am I going? You also can kind of see those coins when you jump up from that bottom platform up into that second one. You're like, wait, was that a coin down there? That's yeah. a little weird. And uh, that's exactly what I wanted there. So of course you also saw it when you died a million times. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Ah, well, that's that's on me. All right. So arrow pointing up. I know I got to go that way. Do it. And considerably, these zones are more challenging than the rest of the level. Uh, for the most part, yeah. I, I guess the no. I got bit. <laughs> I guess the that first secret that you showed off wasn't necessarily more difficult. Now that it now that you know how seems to, to have worked yeah. a lot better for you than me. Because I was I was thinking I was like <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. I don't understand what it's, your problem is. Wow, why did wow. why did I do that? Um, it's possible that it was a bug. I know that they've been patching the game every now and then, and uh, it's possible that they broke some stuff with the um, the newest patch no! that added the checkpoints. Well, I don't even get my mushroom. That's fine. You know what we're Sad gonna do? Day. Kill this guy, right? And I'm gonna go across here, and then I'm gonna die. <laughs> that's that's not. Mm. You done good. You done did it, buddy. I just wanted a mushroom. That's all I wanted. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes you screw around in Mario too much, and then you die. And, and you, sometimes you, you like realize you're. Sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes you just realize you're not actually that good at the game, even though you boast about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Eh, well, you know, Fix other mushroom. Dude, get out of here. Alright, so coins up here. Get me some mushroom. Nope. <laughs> you ah! <laughs> hey, you did it. Alright, let's just move on. I've always liked that they don't give you that brief invincibility when you get power ups. So I if feel you're like fast about this. Oh, then you could just run through this zone with the star. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. But At you least... don't. You want to stop there. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah, because then you can't bounce on them. Yeah, you just die. You know, if you are holding an object and you get the star, you'll drop it. Oh, I did. Or know I think that. I don't know if you drop it, but it might just like 
<laughs> get destroyed. Um, I actually pulled that trick on uh, my affinity, super affinity world level that Kujo and I played in one of the earlier episodes. And uh, basically the star was there to make you think, oh, if I get the star, I can breeze through this little like staircase zone really easily. And that's true. But if you get the star, you drop the shell and you suddenly can't get into the secret area. Man, that's a pain. So what I should have probably considered was coming, taking that tunnel down to where you could just shoot this guy. Because the reward you get mm. from this one is the fire flower. Oh, yeah. And the fire flower makes the next stage much easier, as long as you can retain the fire flower when you get through this. Yeah, that was actually so. my issue with this secret, too, is that you get the fire flower, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's great. And then it's very easy to lose it after that. I think that hammer bro was probably one of the most frustrating frustrating yeah one of the most frustrating level design choices you made in this level that's understandable your your uh design for these secret areas are very interesting too in the way that um the secret areas are more challenging and the rewards you get make the rest of the level easier um for the most part yes and, and that's i think that's one really important style of of making secrets in your level I think the other is actually making the base level, the base like level design challenging, and then making the secrets actually be like the easy path out. That is definitely that's an option. There's there's two two different ways you can actually take that. We were having this conversation earlier. Mm -hmm. um, for the record, that's pretty much it. There are two main secrets, like one uh, minor secret with the the mushroom there. Um, yeah, pretty much it. It, it. Like I didn't want to go hog wild and make it all about the secrets, but um, it, it does have that respect where the secret areas are actually pretty, pretty challenging. Mm. But the reward you get will make it easier in the long run. The difference is between a lot of other Mario's, as you mentioned, the actual game Mario, which was the opposite. The reason that I did it this way was actually after looking on this, the subreddit a little bit about secrets. The um, Super Mario Maker subreddit? The Super or is it Mario, just Mario Maker? I think it's just uh, Mario Maker. The uh, Mario Maker su uh, subreddit. It's actually a kind and, of cool uh, subreddit. It is very, it's actually really cool. Check it out. Um, a lot of people really care about the game. They have a lot of cool things to say about it. Uh, and it's monitored very well. There's not... They've, they've got some crazy JavaScript talking. going on on it, too. Like, it's, it's fancy. It's way more polished than the, like, other fancier subreddits out there yeah. that I've seen. But for that reason, it's also a lot harder to, like, integrate yourself into the community. But in a way, it helps, like, make quality. Yeah. Um, the uh, So if you... If on there, I looked at secrets, and people were talking about reasons why you would uh reasons why you would include secrets when people most of the time are going to play them in the 100 mario challenge mm. and they're just going to try to breeze through them they're not going to care some players That's true. want to experience that like me and you when we play it, we want to experience well, that especially even well i'll play that way in 100 mario challenge too because mm -hmm. i don't want to explore secrets if they're more likely to get me killed especially if i were to see it in something like this i'd be like well i'm just gonna go out of this secret zone and back into the main level because i'm probably gonna lose a life here and since I can only get three green mushrooms, suddenly it's not worth hanging out for I, the secrets. I take it, mm, the second area I'd probably avoid. The first area I'd definitely always go to because be, getting the raccoon tail, oh man. That's fair, but you don't know you don't what know. it is yeah, until exactly, you get until it. until you get it. So it, it's kind of like it's that risk-reward. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't, pl uh, so it, on the Reddit they were talking about it and they're like, you know, one thing you could do is actually make it more challenging but give that reward at the end that makes it satisfying. Mm -hmm. Because when you play Mario Maker, if you're actually not playing like 100 Mario Challenge to get the uh, to, to get the, the special guy, um, if you're not doing it for that, you're actually doing it for the experience and the thrill of playing. And in that yeah. case, those areas are actually that much more satisfying when you do beat them. And that's what the level is catered to. But there's a multitude of reasons why you'd actually want to throw secrets in. Oh, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. You, I mean, it's, it's sort of a... I guess the third reason is just simply to reward the player for mm -hmm. exploring your yeah. level. Um, it's... It seems menial, right? But at the same time, it's one of those things that kind of like gives your level that much more polish. Um, even like Mario Vania, while it wasn't really full of secrets, um, the secrets were sort of the, those aesthetic things. If you explored the world, you'd kind of like discover it. Exactly. You'd be like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. At least I thought it was cool. But no, it's, <laughs> no, I mean, and it is. One person was specifically commenting that they're like, you know, there. I don't mind uh, secrets that are are just. Um, 
all, all they are is just like some random stars or mushrooms that don't really do anything because it's a mute it's a chance for me to get a breather yeah, from, actually. from the level and at the same time like oh one thing was you know i hate don't move levels personally because mm-hmm. th- that's just how i am i i don't like don't move levels and i do not like uh like straight up music levels i think the music levels are cool because i played mario paint when i was a kid and i totally respect it however i'm sick of seeing them all over the place however there has been suggestions of putting those in secrets in actual levels. I've actually seen a, a level recently that did that. And I, I totally appreciate that. That I can get behind. So, you know, that's that's about, I mean, what I have to say about them so far. There's a lot of ways to implement them. Uh, we could probably talk for a while about that, but you know what? So, it's kind of already been done for the most part. Yeah, actually, so I haven't really talked to you about this, but we're doing questions of the day now in each of our episodes, yeah. um, and I've, I've been trying to make sure that we actually pose the question during the episode as well as in the <laughs> comment section. Um, so I'm going to say the question of the day for this episode is, what other kind of secrets do you think that there are? Obviously, we, we said that there were three, mm-hmm. but, you know, we... We're not secret masters. There could be more secrets. Yeah. Secrets of secrets. I've seen secret <laughs> levels that had secrets within those secrets, and that, I mean that's a the possibility. Secretception. Oh. So, so question of the day is basically, what other kind of secrets do you think there are out there, and how do you design your levels to incorporate them? Yeah, um, we'll be posting some uh, video or some uh, other uh, levels down below. Uh, ones that I found in the Reddit that uh, I found interesting and I figured I would give throw back to those guys because they put a lot of good work into their levels so um, and check also, out this you, level too yeah please check it out. <laughs> uh, and you know feel free to throw us a level sometime and maybe if we think it's well designed and enjoyable then we'll play it yeah, and, and I mean, the other consideration too is if, if we don't play your level on the show, it doesn't mean that we think it's bad. It just might mean that we don't feel like we have enough to talk about with mm-hmm. it. Um, but either way, we'd still love to see other people's levels and put it on the show. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, do we want to do the holiday thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I know we've been rambling now, but uh, with the holidays coming up, we uh, would love to play some holiday themed levels. So if you've made a winter or Christmas or. You know any of those winter holiday <laughs> levels? A holiday uh, level in general, yeah. Um, send send us the the code for it. Um, we're gonna be playing it in two weeks from today. So yeah, uh, you have two weeks to make the level. Well, try to get it to us in like a week, a week and a half, so that we have a as chance soon to as check possible. it out. Yeah, yeah. See basically, make a level, send it to us. Um, basically, the sooner you send it to us, the more likely mm-hmm. you'll make it on the show. But we'd Please love to no see music what kind of levels that play Jingle Bells. I hate Christmas music. <laughs> I will not pick your level if you give me Christmas music. I might make him sit through one. Uh, <laughs> you know, I realize that because of the mic and everything, I'm sitting down like this. You look so much taller than I do. The truth of the matter is I'm sitting back like twice as far as you. I'm just scoot forward. <sighs> but anyway, thank you, very, every, oh, guys. Every, thank you everybody for watching. This is what Thanks, happens when guys. I try to talk too fast. Uh, check out my level wings. <laughs> uh, we'll also put the uh, code below. Check it out. Bye, everybody. See you. Sorry, I love you. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>